So this is video two on a series of how to get data out of industrial oil and gas devices and uh, get it in a more timely manner and push it into the cloud to do machine learning. To watch the overarching project plan, watch this video. This doesn't have to apply only to oil and gas. It can really work with any industrial control system, especially SCADA is what we're talking about. SCADA is a wide distributed control system, oftentimes separated geographically and with um, costly and slow communication networks. And that's one of the challenges we need to uh, tackle here. Most RTUs either communicate Modbus or something similar to Modbus, where your polling all happens from the central uh, headquarters, so to speak. So you have a costly software product that goes out and uh, on a schedule, sometimes every hour is a pretty, a pretty standard time frame for oil and gas. Uh, every hour you try to get to every well. The device just sits there and waits for a request. And then the communication networks are slow. A lot of times we have owned radio networks that are very slow or cellular or satellite data that is costly on top of being slow. So how do we get these devices to communicate with a more modern protocol that's maybe more real-time and uh, could push data to the cloud if we wanted to? Well, enter the edge of network device. It's kind of a stopgap until companies start implementing MQTT on their devices. I'm an avid supporter of MQTT. I think it's going to be the protocol of the Internet of Things. It's really lightweight. It's really fast. It's real time. It has a tiny code footprint so you can put it on an Arduino. It's just easy to put it on there. And it's really easy to understand the messages and it's very flexible. So you can have a device like the Raspberry Pi. So this is going to be a, my example device. Keep in mind that there are other uh, actual purpose-built devices that you could use. There's a company called Alexis with an E. Uh, just go to MQTT.com. They have a device way more expensive than a Raspberry Pi, but it's ruggedized and it's meant for low power, wide temperature ranges. You could also easily uh, make your edge of network device out of a Windows or a Linux box. Um, for example, uh, IEI World has lots of little single board computers that are uh, enclosed, fanless, like a Raspberry Pi, only they've got more horsepower. They're meant for running on, you know, 12 volts, and they've got some rugged temperature ranges as well. So, whatever you choose, this thing can sit out here and it can use um, software like Node-RED is an example of a really easy software to prototype on. And it can communicate Modbus to the devices and then if uh, pressures start rapidly changing or alarm comes in, it can send the data instantly to the cloud. We're not just getting data regardless if it changes with Mod like with Modbus. You can actually just get it when it changes in real time. So I'm going to build an example edge of a network device and I'm going to put Node-RED on it just because it's free, I can communicate Modbus, and it can push data straight to the Azure IoT Hub. There are two libraries for Node-RED. Um, if you want to get started with Node-RED, try this video. Anyway, um, go ahead and install Node-RED Contrib Modbus. This one um, communicates over the serial port and apparently TCP as well. There's also Node Red Contrib Modbus TCP, and this one is only for TCP. So once you have these installed, you'll see Modbus TCP in and out. Looking at Modbus TCP, it's pretty straightforward. You go ahead and pick your Modbus command, put in your address poll rate. And then you can go ahead and add a, a server, IP address, and port. So that's pretty straightforward right there. The other Modbus, you go ahead and edit this guy. Kind of the same deal. You give, give it your command, address, how many you want, 
poll rate it gives you a little more options here so you could do it every hour that's pretty handy then you go ahead and set up a server you can set up a TCP server or serial so pick the port uh, and so forth so once you get your Modbus data coming in you can bridge it to something going out for testing you can totally set up Modbus serial to run on uh, an Arduino there's a video for that in the next video I'm going to connect Node-RED to the Azure IoT Hub